Be Bold Against Mold by Colleen Mariglot. Molds can be harmful to human health and property. Mold is a fungus, which is a microscopic organism that decomposes other debris, such as plant matter. This occurs naturally when it invades homes or other at-risk areas, such as school buildings and office spaces, it can have devastating results, both to the structure and any occupant. These fungi work to break down materials that become damp, such as wood and other natural substances. They can also damage man-made materials like vinyl, plastics, ceiling tiles, and carpet. Mold can become nearly impossible to eliminate with cleaning alone. One dangerous black or dark green mold is Stachybotrys chartarum, which grows on materials with high cellulose content, such as paper, wood, and drywall. Substantial repairs are often required to eliminate these simple but complicated organisms. Mold growth. Mold plays a vital role in our ecosystem by breaking down other plant matter and digesting organic material, such as dead leaves. According to the Environmental Protection Agency, molds produce spores that can float through the air before they land. They are found outdoors and indoors, and without moisture, they don't grow well. This is not a problem indoors if spores remain dry, but if they, don't, if they land on damp area, they can grow, and if unchecked, cause damage to buildings and furnishings. Common causes of growth occur due to leaking or drip, dripping faucets, roof le leaks, condensation buildup, and floods. Once mold starts growing, it should be cleaned and the area dried thoroughly, or there may be a risk to structural damage and or to human or pet health. Effect on health. People with allergies or weakened immune systems are particularly at risk for health conditions from mold spores, but even healthy people can be affected. Indoor spores can be inhaled or touched to cause a reaction. Affected individuals can have immediate to latent symptoms such as headache, fatigue, sneezing, coughing or wheezing, eye irritation, or skin rash. A person with symptoms may also experience cognitive dysfunction. Some molds produce toxic byproducts called mycotoxins that can cause fungal infections. These can be deadly. Even in people without a weakened immune system, prolonged exposure to certain molds can have serious adverse health effects. A current debate regarding fungi is whether some toxic spores may cause certain types of cancers. Diagnostic testing can reveal whether a person has been exposed. If your healthcare provider does not offer environmental testing, they can direct you to specialists who do such as environmental medicine physicians. Tests include those to detect mold allergies with a skin prick or a blood test. Prevention and treatment. The best way to avoid mold illness is to prevent growth in the first place. When dealing with mold, an ounce of prevention certainly is worth a pound of cure. Keeping your home dry by dealing with any wet conditions immediately will help reduce exposure. For instance, if windows develop condensation, it is best to set up a dehumidifier to collect the water and remove it from the home. First steps may be cleaning with a solution of mild detergent and water, then drying the area out. If the mold permeates material, causes structural damage, or persists despite cleanup attempts, it is best to remove the drywall or other structures and replace them. Air purifiers can also remove uh, mold spores from the air, making it difficult for fungi to grow and cause damage. Mold growth can happen quickly and cleanup or repairs should as well. If the moldy area is small, less than three feet by three feet, people can usually handle the cleanup themselves. If the area is larger than this, it is best to consult an environmental hygienist. These are specially trained service providers who inspect buildings, test for spores, and plan and implement cleaning and or major uh, repairs. Molds exist nearly everywhere, so it is almost impossible to eliminate all indoor spores. However, indoor spore counts should be less than those found outdoors. Liability for mold in housing. In a landlord and tenant relationship, Washington law is somewhat favorable to landlords. 
Landlords have a duty to maintain premises such that they are fit for human habitation and not to endanger the health or safety of tenants. While landlords are required to provide information to new tenants about health hazards with indoor mold, they are immune from civil liability if they do not provide the information, except when they knowingly or intentionally fail to comply. If moldy conditions are caused by the tenant's use, such as leaky faucets, spills, or floods, then repairs are the tenant's, tenant's responsibility. However, if moisture conditions are caused by factors beyond the tenant's control, for instance, from outdoor water, in common areas, from the roof, or structural components like ventilation or heating defects, it is the landlord's responsibility to make reparations. In situations involving homeowner associations, there may be some duty on the HOA, depending on the contract provisions and the cause. Private homeowners are responsible for mold issues unless a causal connection makes a contractor or other entity liable. The source of moisture is an important fact that will likely determine duties and liability. As we head into fall, the best prevention is to keep your home dry and repair any moisture issues before mold sets in. Proactive steps may avoid unnecessary health issues and destruction of property. If you find mold in your home, be bold against it. This article was written and read by Colleen Mariglot, a personal injury attorney practicing at Sherard McGonigal Tizano and Lind on Bainbridge Island. You can contact her at 206-842-5681 or her website at sherardlaw.com.